Demon Child, An Order of Rain short story by James Byron Clark. Prologue. The child smiled. Mike stared at the little girl in front of him. She wore a short white dress. The child looked like a porcelain doll, frail, fragile. She looks so much like Kelly, Mike thought. Her smile, they have the same smile, the smile that captivated me from the first moment I saw her. It seems so long ago. The child took a step closer and paused, then took another. Mike was transfixed at the sight of her cherubic smile as she slowly moved towards him. As the child reached him, she held out her small hand. She has my eyes, he thought. She has Kelly's smile, but she has my eyes. He took the offered hand. It was soft, cold. The child looked directly at him with his own eyes and began a startling transformation. The cherubic smile curved sharply upwards as the blue eyes darkened to black coals, radiating malice and hate that tore into his heart. She started to laugh, a cruel, painful screech that scraped deeply into Mike's soul. Mike wanted to let go, to flee, but the soft hand now felt like an iron talon. Its grip held him firmly in place. The girl slowly raised her other hand, holding an onyx dagger, nestled, glinting in the starlight. With blinding speed, she plunged the dagger into Mike's chest, twisting the curved blade deep into his heart. Mike screamed as he sank into oblivion. Mike? Mike opened his eyes and saw Kelly. The sweet smile that moments ago belonged to that demon child once again captivated him. But this was Kelly's, a smile wrought with exhaustion but infused with warmth and concern. Her brown eyes looked inquisitively at him, the pallor of her face doing little to diminish her beauty. He looked down and saw that he was gripping her hand, hands that for four, no, perhaps five days, had been clammy, lifeless. Kelly, Mike exclaimed with a startled expression. You were screaming. Are you okay? Kelly said. She paused, looking around with a puzzled look on her face. Mike, where am I? Oh, my God, Kelly, you're awake. Thank God, Mike exclaimed. He was crying now, the terror from his dream replaced now with sheer joy. He held up her warm, smooth hand and kissed it. I thought you were gone. I thought you left me, Mike said in a low, trembling voice. Oh, Kelly, I wanted to tell you so much, but the accident happened. Oh, God. Accident, Kelly said. What accident? Tell me, what happened? I love you, Kelly, Mike said firmly. I always have. I always will. I thought I lost you, but you came back to me. I love you so much. 